Peace, my name is Haven Bullis and today I gotta tell you that the Madhead Doctor has inspired me to do a whole series of videos on South Africa that I kinda wanted to do, but I said nah, I'm not gonna do because I don't have time to do it, but I, I'm gonna do it now. Go subscribe to his channel. Well anyway, family, as you can see on your screen, this is a tweet Trump put out. Well, everybody thought, everybody thinks, I should say, that this tweet right here scared the South African government so bad that they backed off from land expropriation without compensation. And that is not the case. That is not the case at all. Because as you can see, the date on this tweet is August the 22nd. President of South Africa was not swayed. He came out against Trump, denounced him. Julius Malema came out against President Trump not phased by anything Trump said, denounced them, and as everybody knows, the bill was moving forward to take the land. But fast forward to the 28th of, of August, and Theresa May comes to South Africa. And that's when she danced her little jig that you've seen in the beginning, and then at the press conference, this is what she had to say. Yeah, well, the UK has... Uh for some time now supported land reform, land reform that is legal, that is transparent, that is uh, generated through a democratic process. Um, it's an issue that I uh, raised and discussed with President Ramaphosa when he was in London earlier this year. I'll be uh, talking to him about it later today. As you heard, family, a lot of people heard that, what she said, and they thought they took that as betrayal. Not, not a lot of people, a lot of racist white people heard that and took it as betrayal. And seeing it as she's selling the white people out in South Africa or whatever the case may be. But to somebody who understands politics and legalese, she's actually, she actually saved them. Because if you heard what she said, she said the UK has always supported land reform. What kind of land reform has the UK always supported? Willing buyer, willing seller. And she also said that any type of land reform would have to be legal, transparent, and go through the democratic process. And she would talk to President Ramaphosa later. And when she talked to President Ramaphosa later, within 24 hours of her talking to him, President Ramaphosa withdrew the land expropriation bill. Within 24 hours, he withdrew it. And why? Because of the South African Constitution, Chapter 2, the 25th section. Here we go, family. The right to property limited in that property may only be expropriated under a law of general application, not arbitrarily, for a public purpose and with the payment of compensation. That's the Constitution. So... What were they trying to do? If that is what the Constitution says. For us to know that, we got to turn to this Reuters article. Here we go, family. This is a Reuters article from July 31st, 2018. And this is what they were trying to do. The ANC had said in May it would test the argument that land redistribution without compensation is permitted under current laws. A plan that would avoid the risky strategy of trying to change the Constitution. And as anybody knows, you cannot pass a law that's unconstitutional. And by definition, you, it's plain as day. Trying to take the land, expropriate the land without paying for it is unconstitutional because I just read you the constitutional amendment. And because of Theresa May's behind the scenes pressure, they have withdrawn this bill and they're going to try to go to change the Constitution the legal way, the transparent way, the democratic way. And it's all because of her, 
not Donald Trump. I'm pretty sure Donald Trump, she probably used Donald Trump's name to probably play bad cop and while she was doing good cop routine. I have no doubt in my mind that happened. But how do you change the South African Constitution? Well, according to the 17th Amendment of the South African Constitution, you would have to get the National Assembly together and you would have to get two thirds of the National Assembly to vote for the change, for it to be approved. Now let's take a look at the breakdown of the South African National Assembly. There's 400 seats in the South African National Assembly. Two thirds of that is 267. That's how many votes you need to pass a constitutional amendment or a change. The ANC, which is the president's party, has 249 seats. Julius Malema's party, the EFF, has 25 seats. And when you do the math, that adds up to 274 seats, which means that's how many votes they got. That means it should be easy to pass this amendment to the Constitution. But will it pass? I got bad news. No, it won't. And here's why. This is the article that explains what the new constitutional amendment is going to look like according to the president. Here we go. But practically, how can expropriating land avoid becoming an assault on property rights? Ramaphosa's way out of this conundrum has been to suggest it will apply selectively and not to working farms. There has been several suggestions on when expropriation without compensation may be justified. He wrote, these include, for instance, unused land, derelict buildings, purely speculative land holdings, or circumstances where occupiers have strong historical rights and title holders do not occupy or use their land, such as labor, tenancy, informal settlements and abandoned inner city buildings look, look what he just laid out he excluded everything but what people were going after people were doing the land appropriation without compensation was to target the farmland that's owned by the white people you excluded what was the target this is everything but the target some of this stuff even targets black people who can vote for this? Who can vote for this? You literally turned the whole situation on its head. Literally. The EMF, the EFF can't vote for this. Of course, the whole ANC is going to vote for it. And everybody else is going to vote against it. And it's going to be in the EFF hands to see if the bill passes or not. And they're not going to vote for a constitutional amendment that, uh, that expropriates land without compensation. But... It only applies to dilapidated houses. It only applies to unused land. What would be the point of that? And it could apply to some of the constituents. Like I said, a lot of black people could be hurt by these, this rule. What could even make it even worse is that the other parties might vote in favor of it. Knowing that the whites will be protected and only blacks will be hurt. And it'll make the EFF look bad. Like, look what you did. You made things worse. Julius Malema and them can't even support this bill coming to vote the way it is as of right now. They can't even support this even being voted on. This is done. They've been routed. And the victory of this route goes to Theresa May. Like I said, she made this happen. She was boots on the ground. And she made this happen. She saved the white farmers and their land. Checkmate. She's basically, this is, she political Wellington. This is Waterloo, Waterloo excuse me. She did it. It's done. Julius Malema and them are politically undone right now. This is what their whole movement was building up to. And she just snatched victory from the jaws of defeat for her side and for the white farmers. 
Now, family, I, I, I the video is over. Um, as you can see, this is the PayPal link right here. This was pretty much some hard work. It wasn't easy to do. And on top of that, just reach me something. You you can't get this information from nowhere else but from me. Nobody else has even looked at it from this angle. So, yeah, reach me something. And you can also make a request for me if you ask, have anything else you want me to make a video about or clarify anything. Just drop me a little something something and tell me what you want to hear me talk about. And I'm in this video right here. Like, share, subscribe. And on that note, family, peace.